Lycorma delicatula, commonly known as the spotted lanternfly, is a new invasive insect which was first found in southeastern Pennsylvania in 2014. It is native to Asia, including parts of China and Vietnam. The spotted lanternfly was introduced into South Korea about 10 or more years ago, where it became a pest of several crops. Now it threatens those crops in Pennsylvania. Crops of specific concern include hardwoods or timber. Pennsylvania is the number one exporter of hardwoods in the USA. There is also concern about grapes and peaches. Pennsylvania ranks fifth in production in USA for both of these fruit crops. Another concern is for our state parks and tourism. Pennsylvania ranks third in the USA for acres of state park land. We want visitors to continue to enjoy the beauty of our state parks without concerns about encountering high populations of spotted lanternfly or accidentally spreading this regulated insect. This map from the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture shows where spotted lanternflies were known to exist as of August 2016. The red dots indicate where PDA has confirmed the presence of spotted lanternfly. The green dots indicate locations that have been checked by PDA, but the insect was not found. It is important for people to know what the spotted lanternfly looks like in all of its life stages. Knowledgeable residents are very helpful by alerting officials when they find spotted lanternfly in new areas. Also, residents who know what the different life stages look like are empowered to avoid accidentally spreading this insect into new areas. Spotted lanternflies hatch from overwintering eggs in May. They will go through four immature stages, which are called nymphas or instars. The first, second, and third instars are black with white spots. These instars feed on at least 25 trees and plants that grow in Pennsylvania. The fourth instar is the last immature stage. They begin to appear in July. This instar is red and black with white spots. Fourth instars molt and become adults starting in July. The adults have wings but are not strong at flying. They do jump very far and use their wings to get to other locations nearby. The underwings of the adults are red with black and white markings. You won't see the red part when they are at rest, only when they are flying or startled. Adult spotted lanternflies use their piercing, sucking mouth parts to feed on the sap of the trees. They can gather in large numbers. A preferred host is Ailanthus altissima, commonly known as Tree of Heaven. This is an invasive tree which is native in parts of Asia. Ailanthus altissima trees have a compound leaf with up to 25 leaflets. They are often confused with staghorn, sumac, or walnut. When you crush the leaves or stems of Ailanthus altissima, they have a strong, unpleasant odor. This is one of the characteristics used to identify them. This picture shows young trees, but older trees can reach a height of 60 feet. Spotted lanternflies excrete quantities of partially digested tree sap called honeydew, which is sticky and contains sugars. Black fungus called sooty mold grows on the honeydew that accumulates under heavily infested trees. There are high populations of spotted lanternflies in some areas. This is a large number of adults feeding on the base of a mature ailanthus tree. A lot of honeydew and sooty mold is present and visible under this tree. Yellow jackets and other stinging insects may be attracted to the honeydew. In this image, several yellow jackets are shown collecting honeydew. The female spotted lanternfly lays eggs in rows. She covers them with a waxy secretion from her body. Sometimes she covers all of them, and sometimes some eggs are left uncovered. This image shows a completely covered egg mass above and rows of uncovered eggs below. Each egg mass contains about 30 to 50 eggs. Scientists believe each female can lay at least two egg masses in one growing season in Pennsylvania. The covering is white when the female deposits it, but it turns to a grayish brown when it dries. This female has covered half of her egg mass and is working to completely cover it. The appearance of the egg mass changes over time. The image on the left was captured in November. 
shortly after the eggs were laid, you can see some of the eggs that are not covered. The image on the right is the same egg mass in March of the following year. The protective covering has darkened and has developed cracks in the surface. Eggs hatch in May and the cycle begins again. These eggs have openings created when the nymphs emerge. The female will lay eggs on trees or any object. This image shows several egg masses on a fence post that was under the ailanthus tree. PDA has enacted a quarantine order that prohibits movement of any living life stage of this insect to areas outside of the quarantine area. Movement of mated females or viable egg masses is of great concern. Recognizing the life stages of this insect may help landowners to avoid spreading it. More information about identifying the spotted lanternfly, current information about its distribution, compliance with the quarantine order, and the eradication efforts can be found through the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture's and Penn State's Extension websites.